is an example of how to set up Skylink Net on IFTTT, or also known as IFT, to work with the Amazon Echo, also known as Alexa. Once this is set up, you will be able to control your Skylink Net with your voice. In this example, we will set up a voice command to arm the Skylink Net in away mode. First, ensure you have created an account on IFT and you are logged in to your account. Once you are logged in, you can start creating a recipe. First, look for the trigger channel, which is Amazon Alexa. Click onto the Amazon Alexa icon. Before you can create a recipe, you must first connect to this channel by logging into your Amazon Alexa account through IFT. Click Connect and then fill in the login info of your Amazon Alexa account. Once it is done, continue to set up the recipe by choosing the appropriate trigger from the menu. We are trying to set up a specific phrase, so when you say Alexa trigger plus this phrase, it will control your Skylink net. So, click on to say a specific phrase. Now, enter a phrase that you would like to use for this specific action. In this example, we will set up a phrase to arm Skylink net in away mode. So we will use a phrase, arm away. You can type in any phrase that you want. It does not have to relate to the function you want to control. Make sure you type all characters in lower case. Next, you will set up the action, which is the that in the recipe. Choose Skylink Net as the channel for that. If this is the first time you connect to this channel, you need to fill in the login info. Otherwise, like in this example, you can proceed to choose the action from the menu. We would like to set up the Skylink Net Hub to arm away, so let's choose Set Hub Mode. You will be asked to choose the hub that you would like to control, and you also need to enter the password for this hub. Then you need to choose Arm Away as the action. After that, click Create action. Now make sure both the trigger and action are correct, and you can modify the description as well if needed. You also have the option to receive notification when this recipe runs. Click Create Recipe once everything is set up correctly. You will see Recipe Created on the top of the screen. You can also make changes on this screen, and after making any changes, just click Update. Then the new changes will be effective.